Welcome to the launch of the new and improved VinoShipper POS application. This is available to download on both iPhone and iPad Apple products. Please remember throughout this presentation, you can pause and go back to anything that you need to further review. Today, we're going to be looking at how to add team members, create login pins, add card readers, and go through a number of common scenarios that producers face when it comes to making sales in the tasting room or on the go. To begin, you would first need to log into your VinoShipper account from a desktop computer. Oftentimes we are teams of one, so ensure that when you go to team members, you have set up a pin in your VinoShipper account. If you're fortunate enough to have multiple team members, you can create individual logins for those team members and select their access to the platform. It is here that you will generate pins that will be used in the application. This must be set up prior to using the POS for both security and data tracking. If you need assistance or have additional questions on the process of adding team members, please feel free to contact us, customer service at venoshipper.com. Setting up a card reader can be very simple. Please ensure that you are in your device settings. Look for the option to connect a card reader. A device will look for your card reader device. Once it is connected, you will see your device's serial number with connect and a green light active. Now we're gonna review a few common scenarios that could occur when using your mobile POS. Our first scenario can entail a new customer walking into your winery, possibly ordering two glasses of wine to sit at your property and enjoy. Now, hopefully they've had a fantastic experience and enjoyed the product, so now they've decided to order a half a case of wine when they come to your checkout. You could comp their glasses of wine and complete the order, hopefully by them leaving the tip. We would start in the main screen of the POS, select your wine by the glass item, change the quantity to two, and select the button comp, which will zero out the price. They will be checking out as guests since they are only passing through town today. Next, we would add the six bottles the customer has chosen and add that to the cart. Taxes and all other local fees are calculated. We select pickup since they are taking the half case with them and select place order. The customer chooses to pay by card, so we can select use card reader. It is at this time you spin the iPad to the customer so they can review the details of the order and add a tip if they so desire. For this instance, they add a 15% tip and you can now present the card reader to the customer. They insert the card and ask for an email receipt. You spin the iPad around so they can add their name and email. Then you hit send and the email is in their inbox. Transaction completed. Our next scenario can involve a customer that is a club member, that is someone familiar to your business. They walk into your tasting room, so you would need to search for their name to look up their information in your mobile POS. You can review their open orders, maybe any notes that have been attached to their account, and what level membership they might be on. They're going out to dinner later, so they've stopped in to buy three bottles of their favorite wine. You would first Put the guest in the customer search box to begin this transaction that would look up the club member by their name or by their email. Once you find the right person, let's say Bob for this example, then we add them to the checkout. Now we select the products they would like to buy and their club discount would automatically apply to this order. They elect to take the wine with them, so we select pick up, then place order. They have a card on file with us, so we would ask them if they'd like to use that payment method, possibly another one, but in, in this instance, they like to use the payment that they have on file. Because they love the great service that they received, they choose to tip 20% and the order is ready to charge, no receipt needed, and off they go. Now we've had many requests from our producers those of you that have large catalogs of products or small catalogs of products, you want to be able to find things quickly and on the go. The Vino Shipper app has now customized catalog pages that can display depending on every scenario that might come up. You can select which catalog to use so it reduces scroll and lookup time.
uh, more information on that is available in your VaynerShipper account, you would go to products and catalog page. Also, since certain cities have different tax rates, you can now change your sales address to remain in full compliance no matter where your event is held. In this case, we're at a farmer's market taking orders and using the new ID scanner. Our ID scanner works by taking a picture of the back of the ID, and if you have that customer on file, it will pull their information up and collect their information in a flash. Let's see it in action. We've set up the selling address by going to the three dots, adding in the address we're selling from, and a good phone number for the seller. We're now ready to sell at a special event like a farmer's market. Now in this instance, we're at a local farmer's market offering our four best selling products. A customer chooses to purchase six bottles of our rosé, so we add that to the cart. It is important to check the ID of the customer, so while doing so, we ask if they wouldn't mind that we scan their ID barcode to quickly look up this existing customer. If you added a customer previously by scanning their ID, a customer profile will appear. Otherwise, you can quickly select an existing customer from the suggested list. If this is a new customer, you can quickly create a new customer profile using selected information from the ID. After doing so, a customer profile would appear. Now for our next scenario, we have customers that come into the tasting room. They don't necessarily want to carry out. They have luggage, they're traveling, they want their, to be able to ship their products. That can be done quite easily. Let's begin. For this, we're going to be using our main catalog of all of our products. They particularly like our Malbec, so they decide to order six bottles. While you're checking out, you also learn that they're referring friends to come visit while they're in the area. So to thank them, you can apply a custom discount by clicking Adjust Discounts and then selecting Custom Discount. You can choose to give a product, a product discount or a shipping discount, but we're going to go with a shipping discount. There are a number of shipping discounts available, percent, dollar, flat rate, or even free. Today we're going with a 20% off shipping discount, so select percent. Type in 20 and hit save. Next, proceed to checkout. It is here you can have the customer view their shipping information and shipping speed along with the order total. Select place order, choose how they will pay, spin the iPad back to the customer if they would like to add a tip, and then the checkout is complete. Next, we move on to adding a club member. Club management is one of the core facets of many alcohol businesses, so we've built this into all of our tools so you can sign up club members no matter where you are. In this case, we're adding a completely new customer, collecting them their information, and getting them into the club. So to start, we're going to access the menu in the POS and go to customers. First, we will add the new customer. Once again, you have the opportunity to scan the customer's ID to collect a lot of the information very simply. If you like, you can hand over the iPad to your customer for this information section as well. Adding an address will pull up the dialog box where a new shipping address will be entered. Next, add date of birth and verify that you've checked they are of age, then save the customer. By clicking save, this will bring you to the profile where you can now add them to a club that they selected. They've chosen in this case to join the summer club. In here, you can select release preferences, such as shipping or pickup, how many releases they'd like, and if you would like to send them the welcome email. Here, we've accepted the defaults and the customer will be a pickup member. Once you hit save, you will be alerted they have no card on file, so now it's time to add those card details. Clicking credit card, you can choose to use the card reader or tap to pay or enter those details manually. The customer now taps their card on the reader and you have successfully added their card. Add the card to their cart and they are all signed up. Finally, the last feature that we'll go over is pickups. We understand that offering pickups can be difficult to manage even though you have pickup party dates. People live busy lives and will pop into the winery as and when they can. For this reason, we made it easy to see open and paid orders for your club members so you can easily grab their wines and mark the order closed. 
the scenario here, Bob Beyer, our club member, comes into your tasting room looking to collect their latest club order. Not a problem for us as we process the orders in Vino Shipper. You would open your mobile POS, navigate the menu to that customer, and look up Bob Beyer by his name, email, or phone number. Under orders in his profile, you see there are open orders. If you click into this section, Bob has four open orders. Three of them are for shipping, so we don't have to worry about those today. Bob's summer club pickup order is the one that is open. Using the three dots on the top right, we look up the pickup order under pick list. This shows in his last order, he had one 21 Chardonnay. You can go to your storage, grab and package the wine, and mark the pickup as complete. This now marks his order as picked up. That is all for our presentation today. We hope you learned a couple of new tips and tricks for utilizing your new Vino Shipper mobile POS app. Thank you very much.